Hi, I'm Matt Bell with the first in a multi-part series about using the popular online budget tool Mint.com. In this installment, I'll show you how to open an account and connect with your financial institutions. Opening an account with Mint requires just four bits of information. Your email address, country, zip code, and a password. Next comes what can be the tricky part, connecting Mint with your bank or credit union and credit cards. If you'd like, you can also connect Mint to your investment accounts. Mint is able to connect with over 18,000 financial institutions, so the chances are good that yours are on the list. However, making these connections can be one of the most challenging aspects of working with Mint. At a minimum, you'll need to remember your username and password for each institution. If you don't remember them, you may need to reset them with the institution you're having trouble connecting with. For some, you may even need to remember your so-called challenge questions. These are the questions like, what's your mother's maiden name or what was the name of your first pet? Sure, you know the answers, but do you remember the questions? If not, contact customer service at the bank or other institution where you're having trouble. Like I said, making the connections between Mint and your bank or other financial institutions can be the trickiest part of working with Mint, but I think you'll find that the benefits of using Mint are worth the effort. Next time, I'll show you how to set up a budget on Mint, make sure your transactions are being properly categorized, and enter cash transactions. I'm Matt Bell. Thanks for joining me for the 2-Minute Money Toolkit. I'll see you next time.